Get up, get focused, and get into your passion because we moyo everywhere we go. So last night, I had an interesting dream. I woke up in the middle of the night and had this dream that was so vivid. I was riding in a Jeep on a trail and the trail itself was paved and it was clean and clear. But on each side of the trail was snow and ice. And so I was trying to go as fast as I could on this trail and I could just remember feeling like I would get off the trail a little bit to one side and I would spin out and it would jerk me back onto the trail and I would catch traction, but I'd still be going so fast that it would pull me straight across to the other side of the trail. And I would spin out on that side and it would pull me back to the trail again and then jerk me across to the other side. And this seemed to go on and on. And then all of a sudden, I came to a spot where the trail just dropped off on one side. And as I got back up onto the trail, my speed was so fast that I hit that trail and the traction caught and it pulled me over to the edge. And I turned as hard as I could to avoid falling off the edge. And I can just remember feeling this lean, like my Jeep was trying to hang on. I was leaning off and then all of a sudden I woke up and I sat there in bed for a while and this dream was so vivid and I kept just trying to think about this dream and like what this dream means. Why would I dream such a vivid dream and it woke me up. Finally I went back to sleep and this morning I woke up and I was downstairs. I had just done my scripture and was sitting meditating and a thought came to me. The thought was slow down and stay on the path. Slow down and stay on the path. And it was just so vivid and I could still feel in my body the anxiety of that feeling of going from one side of the trail to the other out of control but refusing to slow down. I just kept going faster and faster until finally I hit an area where the consequences were much higher. And that's when I woke up. And as I thought about slow down and stay on the path, I thought about life so much of the time. It seems like we have to just go faster and faster. We have to speed up if we're going to catch up, if we're going to stay up. It's like, I remember back when I was trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon and I was running a marathon in Wichita, Kansas. And I was right on the edge of the time that I needed, 20 miles in. But my body was starting to break down and I had to go harder just to maintain the same speed to stay on the pace. And I kept thinking in my mind, how long can I continue this? Can I do this for six more miles? Because I'm gonna break down and then I'm just gonna have nothing left. And that's how I felt in that dream. Like I refused to slow down, but at the same time was like, I'm gonna pay the price. I'm gonna hit an area where the Jeep falls off the edge. And I think in our life, it's a lesson that sometimes we just have to slow down. Even if our perception is that we will fall behind. If we realize we're out of control and we realize the consequences that will occur, then we've got to slow down, even if we fall behind. And I think that's what that dream was telling me. And I think it's something that's real for all of us. Sometimes we just refuse to slow down. We refuse to say no. And I am as guilty 
and probably more guilty than most people about that. But maybe this is God's way of telling me, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down and keep your pace. So that thought just plays on my mind all day. Slow down, stay on the path. What does it take for you to realize sometimes you gotta slow down. Sometimes that's the opportunity that you gain more by slowing down. Moyo, everywhere we go.